use all of the runway. Okay, nose wheels straight. I'm gonna go full power. I got RPM on the green, so I'm gonna release the brakes. 10 degrees of flaps. Looking for 51. Airspeed's alive. There's 40. 45, watch out bird. 50, 51. So we're gonna climb out at 55. Uh, that was a little bit aggressive there. So I was watching this for altitude. Okay, so I need 65 and then the flaps are coming up. Okay, slip to land. The final looks clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn here. Eleven traffic Skyhawk so for Yankees turning final runway three five. Oh yeah, it's not on. Perfect. <laughs> Did you do that? No. Okay, so now. I'm gonna go right rudder. Well, first let me get wings level. I'm gonna go right rudder, powers out. Left aileron, because I'm not on center. Oh. So, watching my airspeed. I want to land on the 1,000 foot markers, or you do have a few hundred feet after that. Okay. Total of 400 feet. I'm gonna start letting that slip out. Powers all the way out. Feels like I'm fast, which I am. So no flaps is definitely affecting me. Oops. Dang it. Okay, flaps up. All right, do a soft field takeoff. Soft field, so that means keep it rolling. We're gonna go 10 degrees of flaps. Okay, so we're gonna give it full power. We're gonna keep the nose wheel off. Once I'm airborne, we're gonna keep it in ground effect. There's 65, so I'm gonna climb out. And flaps, well, I'm gonna just wait for a little bit of altitude. And then flaps are coming up. Those are both really good. Okay, there's 55, so we go full throttle. And pitch up. No clouds, which is a bit of a bummer. So there's the stole horn. A little bit of a buffet. Then a break, so no aileron but left rudder. And then recover. Good job. Okay, there's 55, so I'm gonna give it full power. Watching the rudder, I'm gonna pitch up. Okay, and a little bit of turn, I think. Yeah. That kind of right. This is weird looking. Watching okay. the rudder. I hear the stall horn. Waiting for a buffet. Little baby turn. Maybe just decrease the bank a little bit and pull up just a little bit more. Okay, there's a buffet. Come on, baby. You know you want to. I want to go. I want to go. Wow. What's it supposed to do? There's it. There it is. There we go. Okay. Okay. Just push yep. down. Push down. Scared me. Why did it scare me? All right, I have controls. Your flight controls. So, if I dip, if it falls like this, I'm gonna do opposite rudder, right? So I'm gonna be in charge of the ailerons for a second. You're in charge of the rudder, okay? Okay. So if I dip the right wing, push so I go the left. left rudder. Yes. 
Alright, we got her. We'll just practice that for a sec. So someone. We're flaring, we're flaring, we're flaring. Whoa! Okay, this right rudder. I don't know how much right rudder. Just, you don't need to jam it super hard, just probably like. Okay. Like that. Okay. There you go. Okay. Feel better? Yeah. Yeah, you have controls. I have light control. Okay. So now I'm gonna go full power. I'm gonna pitch up. Giving it right rudder. A little bit of a left turn. Uh, keep this bank here. Rudder's coordinated. Yeah. Just keep it there and just pull up more. Okay, so not sure Hold what to do bank. here. Hold less bank. Keep pull, keep her up. Don't let her don't let her come down. I feel like I'm steering with the rudder. You know, I let off the rudder and now I get bank. Okay, I definitely hear the stall horn. Trying to figure out the rudder. Watching the bank. Okay, there there's go. a buffet, so I can release. She broke, but then she caught herself. <laughs> That's it. Ah, dang it. Why does that sneak up on me like that? Okay, so I'm descending. There's 7,000. So now I'm gonna pitch up. There's the stall traffic, horn. November 619 or Tango Hotel, entering runway 3. You don't need three. to stall this high. You don't need to flare that high. Okay. You can be pretty subtle. So I got the stall horn. There's the buffet and the brake. So I go full power. Recover. First not to flaps. I mean, is 65 an important number in this case? It's just, it's your final approach speed. Right, It's yeah. just simulating that. Okay, but now I'm gonna pitch up, because I'm ready to stall. Okay, I heard the stall horn. Give us a turn. Oh yeah. Little baby turn to the right. Wow, oh, got a lot of back pressure. There's the brake. Full power, release the back pressure, cover, for, for snatch of flaps. smoke I see out there. Okay. I like 85, I like 6800. Whoops, that's dropping. I can feel that. But I'm a little slow spotting it. I feel it before I see it. Just shoot for your mountain. Your uh, heading indicator just had a problem. Yeah, I noticed. Okay, so here I'm rolling out. Oops, I'm losing altitude doing it. up 10 knots and lost 100 feet. Yep, so we just at the end there, we kind of got a little off. I know part of that was because that was doing its own. Hey, it actually made itself <laughs> accurate, so. <laughs> All right. All right, so 85, 6,800. I'm going to do a turn to the left. Okay, so we start the turn. A little bit of back pressure and a little bit of power. Losing too much 
speed. I'll check the power. Ah, uh, well, I gained almost 15 knots there. Got that little peak in the distance. I don't want to stop right. Five radio check. Loud and clear, Aggie five. Visually, I want to give back pressure, but I, I'm climbing when I do that. But there, I need it. It's kind of fun to watch that heading indicator do that. Okay, I'm going to come back on the power a little bit. Oh, ah. don't let it get low. Yep, I feel it. Dang it. I'm trying to see what that looks like. And I blew right past my heading. Dang it. That was a little low there. Yep. This time, let's try one more. Reach down and do at least, like, do two trim up attitudes. Okay. So that you don't have to work this so hard, you just barely move it and it responds. There we go. Okay, a little bit of power. One trim down. Watching that nose. No more bank. We don't need that much power. A lot of ground. Double check. Oh, it is descending, so ah. yank it harder. It's like my senses are just a little bit behind the gauges. I have controls. Your flight controls. So here's one, two trim ups. Okay, it feels like I'm climbing. So I'm going up. Verify, and I hear the engine, so yeah. yes, I'm climbing. Maybe had a little too much trim in there. Okay, now it looks like it's descending. I see a lot of ground. Yep, verify. Oh, yep, I am. Pull up. Traffic, Aggie 5, turning left downwind, runway 35, Logan. Okay, I'm ascending. Logan traffic, 118, golf mic, radio check. Loud and clear. Okay, cool. Speed looks good. Maybe a little too much power. Okay. A little better. Airspeed definitely looks better the whole time. Okay. You can take that off. Thanks. All right. You have controls. My flight controls. Oh no! Fire! Engine fire! Okay. Engine fire. So I would go. I would pull the mixture. I would cut the fuel. Um, and I would start an emergency descent. Uh, Logan which I would do with the left turn. And I would shoot for 90 knots. Hey, Tarpons and 4 Yankee, 6 miles northwest of the airfield. Simulated engine now descent through 6.5 down to 5.5. Five. We'll be setting up for 45. So, and then I'm looking for a safe place to land. So I'm cutting the engine, which I did with this and the fuel. Um, and I'm looking for a safe place to land. I'm trying to put the fire out. It is 90 the number I want? That's what's in my brain. 100. So I want 100. There's a hundred. Oh, there's 105. Okay. Right. Checklist. Mixture fuel 
flashed off. Pump off. Master switch. Off. Okay. Kevin. Closed. Just, just pushing those in. Now I'm looking for a safe place to land. Um. All right, you blew the fire out. Okay, fire's out. So I still don't oh, have an engine. Good. I've got my master off. Uh, I could make a. I can't make a radio call. Um. I'm looking for a safe place to land. I'm kind of running out of time to do that. So. So if you blew the fire out, what can you do? I could turn my master back. Logan traffic, no. MP5, turning left. You can pitch for five, a better Logan. airspeed so you have more time. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Go so start. So use that trim wheel. Logan traffic, helicopter 30 Delta, final, Bravo, parallel 35. Okay. So, as far as a safe place to land, I kind of like. Just going around and coming backwards. In other words, doing a 180. Okay, ID5 departing the pattern of the crossing lake, climbing to 7,500, traveling west to the town of Newton. Logan. Okay, so I got a field there. It's a shortish field, so after the brown one, that green one is what I was looking at. Okay, we're gonna make Traffic. it. Yeah, I think I can make it. So I would probably slip a little bit right now. Any obstacles? Logan traffic, 118 golf line, left, Go uh, around. Okay, I'm going around, hold power. There are some power lines there. What? Traffic. Oh, oh I see the pole now. now. Six miles to the east. We have nine or five off the taking run, 25 for departure. Out. We'll keep it cool for you guys. You have plenty of time. What did he say? He said we'll keep, he's departing the runway hill to keep it quick. I'm like, you don't need to. We're Logan traffic, 118 golf line. Unless, is there somebody right on the end of the runway? That's, yeah, that's the guy departing. Okay. That's the guy you extended for. Yeah. So, don't worry about him right now. Okay. Don't focus on him until you're like right on top of the road before, then I can worry about it. Okay. So, I want 60. Logan traffic, Skyhawk 74, Yankees on final runway 35. Logan. A little bit high. I have 60. Got full flaps. Logan traffic, 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 Looking at the numbers. Yeah, I'm good about this. At 60. Might be a little bit low, but. Power's coming out. Ah. I don't think I'm going to make the 500 foot marker. Alright, make the 1000. Preston traffic, 619 or Tango Hotel. Turn left downwind for ah. runway 3, Preston. Just need a little more flare. Logan traffic. Logan traffic. Skyhawk seven four Yankee on base runway three five. Logan traffic. Yankee five is about a mile south of the Five thousand five hundred ground reference today was Logan. Okay, I'm looking for soft field. High. So I'm pulling power. Pitching for sixty five. Gonna go full flaps. Logan traffic 424, Foxtrot Papa, holding short of runway 35. Logan traffic, Skyhawk Center for Yankees on final runway 35. Um, full stop. This is soft field. Logan traffic, helicopter 30 Delta, left downwind. Bravo, parallel 35. Power's coming out. Guys transitioning to the end of the runway. A little bit of power. And to keep the nose real off. 
Flamingo Hotel, uh, to the northwest over the Chinese Pond, inbound for... Okay. Get into slow flight, first notch of flaps. Power's coming out. Full flaps. Logan Air Traffic Zero Time Hotel, left, A354. I'm trying to capture about 59. There's 59. A little right rudder. Okay. Pitch of speed, power's altitude. About 56. I like 59 better. A little bit of power to recapture 6,705. 750. Okay, I'm going to do a baby turn. Block and a half. Oops, might be a little bit wide on this side. Maybe for cutting the corner. Okay, I'm looking for my next target. So the traffic's J3 Papa Sierra's on a one mile 45 from my 35, Logan. Five knots, 5,500. Welcome to our victory through Papa Sierra's entering midfield, that's down one for runway 35. About a block and a half. Which I think I have just about done. All right. That's an S turn. I think I'll just, I mean, that's a turn around a point. I think I'll, because why not? That's fine. So this time, I'm going to try to come over the silo. Preston traffic, Skyhawk 74 Yankees, six miles south of the field, 5,500 ground reference maneuvers. Back to north by the time I get to that road. Slow in traffic, zero three, Papa Sierra, left base, three five will be a full stop. Okay, wings level over the road. And then right turn. I'm aiming for about a block and a half. Actually, I'm a little high, so I must be giving a tiny bit of back pressure. So traffic zero three Papa Sierra turn final for runway three five will be a full stop. Here comes my road. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but we're gonna try. Logan traffic Aggie five holding short of runway three five at Alpha One, Logan. Next level. There's my road. Hey, that was alright. Apply this rectangular pattern here. So that's my little field. At a thousand feet, ninety knots. No wind, so make my uh, rectangle turn here. 
thousand AGL. I see a vehicle. I was hoping that would kick up some dust, but I don't see any dust or wind. edge of my triangle, my rectangle. Logan A traffic, Diamond Star 127, Kill Charlie. Uh, currently, uh, correction, uh, Preston traffic, uh, 127, Kill Charlie, four miles west of the field, 10,000 inbound on the practice hours, 17 in Logan, Preston traffic. Preston traffic, Skyhawk 74 Yankees, seven miles southeast of the field, 5,500 ground reference maneuvers. I don't know about that side. Logan traffic, Aggie 1 taking, or Aggie 5 taking runway 35 at Alpha 1, Logan. Side of my rectangle. Oops, I gained 100 feet. Get out the window. My final turn on this rectangle. Now what? I can head in and... Target traffic, 759, pop 4 Yankee, how far out of the 45 are you? Four miles. Roger, Aggie 5 on the departure leg. Turning cross on here shortly, only three times. Uh, 74 Yankee will do a 360 out here and rejoin the 45. Yeah, Logan Traffic 85 will turn the tight down when he keeps our speed up for you. Okay. Logan Traffic 85, can you let down in and I do five, Logan? Okay, standard rate turn, 85 knots, Keep climbing a little bit, I don't need to do that. Somebody above me, 3,000 feet. Logan traffic, 420, Parkshop, Papa, 5 miles, 45, runway 35, Logan. Logan traffic, Skyhawk 74 Yankees doing a 360 on the 45, uh, three and a half miles, rejoining the 45 for runway 35. Traffic Diamond Star 127, Kilo Charlie, currently six miles north of the field, set up on the practice ILS 17, uh, plan to go miss, traffic permitting, looking at your traffic. Turned a little early this time. Logan traffic, Aggie 5 taxiing to the ramp via Bravo Delta, Logan. Final's clear. Logan traffic, Skyhawk 74 Yankee turning final, runway 35, stop and go. And Logan traffic, 127 Kilo Charlie going miss on the ILS 17. We'll climb over the field to 5,800 or higher and then make a climbing right turn and we'll look out for that traffic on the downwind. Logan traffic. Okay, so if I'm going to do short field, I need 60 knots. So first priority is get me 60 knots. There it is. Okay, got my 60 knots. Now I'm going to get my glide slope. Which I've got. Logan area traffic, life flight 37, helicopter over a high rim, 6,800. For the 1,000 foot markers. Logan, Logan traffic. Get that 
center line. Broken traffic, 420 Fox Shop Papa, left base 35. Touch your code. Rudder, little flare. Flaps up, one, two, three, full stop. Full stop, full power, RPM in the green. Load the traffic, 420 Fox Papa, final, 35, stop and go. Load. Okay, I'm looking for 55. There's 55. That thing likes to fly with no fuel in it. 70 knots. I don't see anybody. Pitching for 70, which I got. And turning final. Logan traffic, Skyhawk, some for Yankee turning final runway 35, full stop. Okay. We're shot at a tiny bit, I'm already got the glide slope. So I want 60, because I'm doing short field 1,000 foot markers. There's 60. Come back on the power a little bit because I'm a tiny bit high. Got full flaps. Everything's all set up. Engine's happy. My glide slope. A little bit below 60, so let's get that back. I don't need to get crazy here. Just a short field. Okay, center line. 60 knots. Staring at the 500 foot markers. Now the power's coming out. See if we can make this. Well, I don't know if I love that. <laughs> 